Right, I'm re-recording. Hello everybody, it's Farron here, and I would just like to give you an update on the old Kursk build. Alright, first things first, um, these are the work in progress figures that I've been doing so far. Okay, he's got his um, flesh tones to be completed. As is this one here. Some more highlights and a bit of rosiness in their cheeks. This guy's face is done, just need to put on his arms and a few tweaks here and there. And this guy is sitting on the back of the tank. Again, uh, just a couple of tweaks on the gun and the uh, backpack. Job done. Uh, the tank has still got to be painted, it's not even primed. <laughs> right, so here we go. Here's the first figure I painted. I've got to finish his other hand. Yeah, so I'll bring him up a bit closer. That's him there. And then uh, the second guy here. That's his face done. Not a very good fit, these Tamiya figures. I am probably uh, put some filler in that after the um, build. And the same with this one, the uh, arms, they don't locate where you want them to locate and um, it's a real pisser. But um, other than that, you know, this one turned out quite well. And it's been really good fun painting the faces. Uh, there's the commander in chief, blurting out the orders. Get a move on, da? Yeah. Yes, of rest, nicht was, nicht was. Here's my man jumping off the roof of the tank. So that there you go. He's in his leather, his leather smock, great coat, whatever you call it. I don't know the terminology, but um, I've had a lot of fun painting these guys, and um, I should be able. to to do a tutorial on, on how I do skin tones because I know a lot of people actually struggle on them. I used to struggle on them big time. I thought, shit in hell, you know, why, why won't it go right? Why won't it do this? Why won't it do that? So um, I persevered. I watched a couple of vids on YouTube and um, found a way of doing it. And it was the, lo the lost or the last cavalry um, channel, YouTube channel shows you how to paint a 160th scale face, but I um, actually adopted that method to 135th. Um, just give you a sneak peek of that one, because the detail on his face, it, it looks like the bloody hunchback in Notre Dame. He's got one, his right eye's bulging right out. And this was one of my other WIPs, you know. It got to a point where I didn't want to paint him anymore because it got to a point where it was I was making more mistakes than actual corrections, so I thought, right, you can look like a misfit. And then that's the other one I just done. Just got to tone down the uh, the red on his lips. I'll do that with a pale pink. And that's the thing I've been looking at faces a lot on the actual um, tones of their of people's faces. You know, the, the, around the T zone and the cheeks, under the eyes, and the lips. And of course, lips are not red. They're um, more of a just a basic pink color, but if you if you base coat them in a, a darkish pink, and then put highlights on with a very thin brush of a lighter pink, you get a really good definition. But only paint the bottom lip because if you paint the top lip, it's going to look like some showgirl from uh, you know from one of those um, cabaret um, shows. So you don't want that to happen. So um, that's as far as the Kursk build goes at the moment. I mean. The tank, as I said, it's not primed, but it's all built. You know, and, and there you go, there's the tracks as well. Um, there's been a delay because I've just gone through a lot of personal problems at the moment, and um, I don't really want to go into great details and bore everyone, but. Um, yeah, that's pretty much why this has been taking a while. I just got to get rid of some more panel lines on here, actually, i just seen. Bugger. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. And then we've got the tank tracks, which I believe I meant to 
fit on quite easy. Like so. They're the vinyl track, so all I've got to do is just put the dabs of super glue on there for the bit of sag. In all fairness, I actually prefer these tracks to bloody link and length and separate tracks, actually. It's a lot less hassle. But they're workable, you see, as well, because it was like one of those remote control tanks that you could upgrade. But um, it's all going to be stuck down in all good time. So, yeah. This will be hit with primer later this week, hopefully. And uh, I'll crack on with the Sherman tank. Uh, Sherman tank, duh. T34, as soon as um, I'll finish the miniatures. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, I think that's pretty much it that I need to cover. It's not a lot, really. Just that I'm, I'm way behind schedule. Like I said, I'm going through some personal problems at home, and um, I would really like to get back to the swing of things when I get everything sorted out this side so I might be on the air I might not be on the air so if you see a video of me then yes I've managed to put a video up but other than that don't expect anything for a few months okay guys well thank you very much for watching and see you all later